The cameras are fixed to one man. Following a hat trick, does he have another big performance in him this time? Stay with us on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got action for you from the Champions League quarter-final. It's Hervé Leipzig up against Olympiacos. Well, experience counts for so much at this stage of the competition. The pointed end, this is where it all matters. Can they get into the semi-final? Senior players in that dress room play a huge part. And they kick off this Champions League quarter-final first leg. And let's have a look at the starting eleven for Leipzig. Peter Guracci is the goalkeeper of choice. Dayo Upamecano plays with Vili Orban in central defence. Marcel Zabitza plays alongside Kevin Campbell in central midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. It should be! Magnificent defending. No worries for the keeper. Danny Olmo. Forsberg. Really getting stuck in defensively. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, he'll do well to beat his previous hat-trick, but the form he's in, I wouldn't put it past him. He'll take this on. And that shot from seemingly miles out, close. Well, he got too much space and he thought, why not? Why not shoot from here? to stop him good idea that particular move but not to be this looks promising must take the lead here oh but he's missed it how on earth is this still level I don't know Derek just a real lack of composure in the end they should be ahead not textbook defending and the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers Kevin Camper on to Forsberg throw-ins given well they've won the ball back quickly Can he do for real chance on his own with only the keeper to beat and still he's missed it well he had one thought power he should have thought composure not a great pass Forsberg excellent refereeing advantage in operation Marcel Zabitza well that's how to break the spirit of the attacker Kenny Lala. He's in with a chance. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. 
a short corner. Burnley likes to run at them. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. But he's gone short with it. Well, nicely cut out. Paulson. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Committed challenge. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Kenny Lala. Can he put them in front? And it's come off the keeper. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Haidara. He's lost it. How can he take them on and beat them? And in with a real chance. Will this corner bear fruit for them? It's a short one. And he did his job defensively. And whipped into the box. And offside by rather a lot. Amadou Haidara. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. And so they kick off the second half in this Champions League quarter final first leg. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, flinging himself at the ball. The short corner routine. A very timely interception. An attack full of promise. Really good block. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, it's not been a great first half of football as far as he's concerned. He seemed a little bit sluggish to me, Derek. Easy for the back line to pick him. And a really good diving stop. Well, they're going for the short one. Never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Poor pass. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Substitution time it is here. Difficult shot to take on. Routine save for the keeper. Yes, the distance. Look how far out he is. Easy, easy save in the end. Referee blows for a foul. So a personnel change then. It's opening up for them. 
Konstantinos for Tunis. We're getting the ball forward. Might take the lead. And he's fired it against the post. He's given it straight to the opposition. Well, you can't come much closer to scoring than that. So, 20 minutes to go. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Must take the lead here. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And the substitution will occur now. Mukiele. Forsberg. Oh, he's given the ball away. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Great opportunity. Can he finish? And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique, and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, just listen to the crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still time to grab an equaliser. Surely they'll get another chance or two. Angelino. Forsberg. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. There to take it away. And he keeps going. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think he can think anything else after that challenge. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, let's see that again. I don't want to look at it as a former defender. I've scored a few of these in my time. And they were always my fault. Not blame for all of them. Important the players pick him up from here on in. Even Steven won a piece in this match. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Really bright looking attack. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So there we have it. 2-1. Danny Olmo. On the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly. And still looking for space. Wonderful chance. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. And he's fired over the corner. In search of the equaliser.
He's driven in the corner. And firing it into the area. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. It's one corner after another. And now the delivery. What a vital intervention. Corner kick played in. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Over it comes. And the keeper deals with the danger. And the referee blows his whistle. That is the end of the contest. And a fine result for the away fans. And if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil, then they will surely be going through. Yes, Derek, we're expecting a tight, tight game. That's what we got. But can they keep that advantage going into the second leg? It should be a cracker. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he never gave that back.